What's up guys? So what we have today is my EDC pack, a backpack by Surfanic. Now I've had this pack for somewhere between 15 to 20 years, at least 15 years going on the 20 year mark. Um, and I absolutely love this pack. It's been uh, with me through numerous adventures, numerous journeys, and just every day kind of, you know, life, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I feature on the channel just because it's not really a brand that um, I believe many people know about. Even I don't really know much about this brand. I went online to see um, you know, just to check it out, and, uh, they make basically, uh, snow, uh, snowboarding and skiing equipment and such, and, um, uh, yeah, I guess I checked this pack out, and, um, uh, you know, just show you the quick features that I think make this pack one of the best EDC packs out there, at least for me. Um, first and foremost, as you can see, it has a beaver tail. And I really like this feature because this is really spacious. It has some Velcro here, but this is really spacious in here. Like I can fit a pair of shoes, a hoodie, you know what I mean? Uh, food, you know, extra gear that I just want to carry on the outside. And um, yeah, it's just, just a really useful feature that I ab absolutely love in this backpack. And, um, yeah, then it has, you know, a smaller compartment here with the sleeves and such. You know, it's got the key um, buckle or key hook, whatever this thing is. And, uh, you know, some sleeves, zippered, uh, zippered mesh compartment here for like coins and what have you you know what I mean you can some pen pockets and such what is this just yeah and um, yeah so it has this little compartment here then it has another compartment here which is pretty roomy goes all the way to the bottom as well you know just another divider for your gear and then it has the main section which, as you can see, I've got two water bottles in there, still from when I last used it. So it can probably fit three uh, side by side, three uh, water bottles, two liter water bottles. Man, this thing focuses really badly. I don't know why my phone just goes out of focus. And uh, yeah, really nice grab handle. Really quality grab handle. Now, the materials... I'm going to say this is nylon-ish, you know, it doesn't feel like polyester, it feels a little bit tougher than polyester, but it may, it may still be polyester, I'm not really sure, to be honest, but, I mean, it's lasted the test of time, um, I don't have a single issue, like, it's never been scratched up, there's no holes in it, you know, it hasn't poked any holes through here. Um, so the material is pretty nice, um, obviously has the laptop kind of sleeve divider which you could also use for a hydration um, bladder as well, just you know slip it in here. And uh, right up top here it has a fleece um, pocket that you access through here, just a small pocket you know for little bits and bobs, really handy. And, um, yeah, it's just this nice slick black color, very gray man, you know, doesn't really attract attention, blends in really nicely. And, um, I think this is a 30 to 35 liter pack. I'm not too sure. Going on the back here, it's got old school from when you needed to, you know, uh, 
when you had like a disc man or a walkman you could run your uh, cable through here you know and just store it up here and uh, there you go and uh, the shoulder pads are pretty decent actually kind of squishy you know pretty soft and at the same time still really nicely padded as you can see and uh, yeah they've always been really comfortable even loading this thing you know full of literally books water shopping and you know what I mean like food wise and I've loaded it up and it's uh, it's never given me issues and at the back here um, it has another compartment which I really like a hidden compartment which as you can see I've snapped the um, the little toggles off the zipper just because I didn't want it to be as noticeable and also I didn't want it you know I didn't want it like clinking around so but just opening this and again the zippers on uh, on the pack everything has worked flawlessly for years I've never had issues with anything you know really smooth zippers and in here this is old school this is where you keep your Walkman or your Discman this would be where you keep your Discman and run the you know the cord through there I would never actually do that but you know it's there as an option and as you can see what do I have in here this is just tags from something or other from some sunglasses but as you can see in here this is for when uh, CDs were back in vogue you know it still has um, some sleeves for CDs in here that you can store and uh, on the other side here it has a mesh compartment here zippered mesh compartment here and another zippered mesh compartment here so really nice really nice all-around pack that really you know has a lot of neat little features to it on the side we feature some um, pockets you know just elasticated pockets for like a water bottle again or you know similar items and uh, generally speaking I can't be happier with this pack it's been with me for the longest out of my EDC packs and um, I still use it I still use it and uh, it's never failed me so even though I paid I probably paid something like I want to say 10 British pounds probably not even 20 not even 20 for this pack because I bought it at a discount if this were to focus I bought it at a discount um, at an outlet store and uh, yeah I mean it's been with me for forever and um, it's been a great pack it's been overall really you know a really great pack it's never failed me it's just so functional it has so many different pockets you know compartments however you want them you know to divide up your your stuff and you know depending on on the situation it's just a really versatile bag um, so I guess I wanted to you know showcase its features in this video and um, you know just basically make a video in praise of this pack because it's really outlasted uh, some of my other packs and um, some of my more expensive packs in terms of you know I think the only thing that broke the only thing that broke here is the sternum strap, the buckle here, as you can see. But it still functions, you know? As you can see, it's broken like that. I might have to super glue it, but I don't know. I think it works just fine like that. If I super glue it, it might end up uh, not working as well. Might not slide, might not clip in as well. So just even like that. And that's the only thing that really broke. Um you know from this pack the zippers here I clamped them out so you know as I mentioned just a little less obvious um, you know as a kinda keep it as a kinda hidden compartment for uh, 
you know, valuables and what have you. But yeah, it's got the mesh padding. I don't know if you can tell. There we go. Better lighting. It's got some really nice mesh padding. You know, it's not super thick or anything, but it's just a regular backpack padding. And um, I've never had any issues with it. I've never, you know, obviously if you're carrying awkward loads inside, you know, you will feel it on your back. But generally it's, uh, it's held up pretty nice. I don't want to say it's breathable just because it's mesh, you know, just because, hey, if it's, if you're sweating, you're sweating, regardless of whether the backpack is, you know, supposedly very breathable, etc. But, um, I've never had, again, issues with, um, with anything, really. I mean, it's been, it's, it's lasted years and, uh, you know, it's just a functional pack. It's got the compression straps, obviously. You know, it doesn't feature, um, it doesn't feature, you know, a hip belt or anything because this is just a regular backpack. And um, you wouldn't need one. It would be too high, um, you know, just far too high up anyway. So I just use it as a regular backpack. It doesn't need anything else. And, um... I have to say, for a cheap pack, because again, I bought this really cheap, um, definitely under 20 pounds, I'm guesstimating like around 10, because um, yeah, as I mentioned, I bought it at an outlet store and on discount, so yeah, I guess the point of this video as well is just to showcase that sometimes you know you find really good deals and they're not necessarily some of the major brands out there that are well known. They're just, but you know, the construction, the quality overall, really, really good backpack. Really good backpack for a cheaper style backpack. Um, this is probably the best out there uh, in terms of, you know, the construction. As I said, not a stitch busted, you know, nothing, no loose threads, zippers function perfectly. Um, everywhere so yeah just a really good pack and uh, you might want to consider something like that you know for your EDC purposes um, you know just because as I mentioned it has so many features I love the beaver tail feature the, the beaver tail feature is so so uh, so useful I have to say unbelievably useful I've used it constantly, you know, just throw food in there or, you know, as I mentioned, a pair of shoes, a hoodie, whatever else I need in there, gloves, doesn't matter, you know, it's just that extra compartment, you know, easy access, just open in there and uh, it just works, you know, just a really neat little pack. So what can I say, guys? Uh, I think I've been babbling on enough about this pack. I think I've uh, showcased all its features. And hoping that this phone focuses, all I can say, I guess, is I hope you found it useful, informative, enjoyable, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one.